Yo, Bloody Actor here guys and welcome back to yet another episode of Kenyan Gaming Setups. As you know, I'm here to showcase your setup, so keep your negative comments away from the comment section. If you enjoyed these videos, be sure to like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, hit the notification button so that you can get notified whenever I upload future videos. And uh, yeah, today I am at G-Man's place, that is Gatman, Gatehi, uh, the guy behind NMK Films. I think uh, for the gamers, you guys know him as Gatman, uh, he used to be an Apex sweat, I mean, I'm a retire. But uh, yeah, today we're here at his studio and I'm here to showcase his setup. So yeah. So yeah guys, uh, as you can already see, I'm in his studio right now and as you can see, it's nice and lovely, clean. Um, uh, of course, this is a space geared towards content creation, filmmaking and stuff. So there's a lot of gain in the room that obviously is not going to make it onto the video. That is related to filmmaking, but uh, as you can see, he has a really nice and clean setup. And again, guys, if you enjoy these videos, remember to drop a like and subscribe. So let's head on over to what he is rocking. For the PC case, he's rocking the NZXT S340. This is a mid tower chassis that does come with a steel frame and a windowed side panel. Inside the case, we have an AMD Ryzen 7. This is the first generation Ryzen processors. So this is the AMD Ryzen 7 1700, which is clocked at 3.7 gigahertz. This is an eight core 16 thread CPU. Cooling this CPU, we have the Cooler Master ML240L RGB V2 AIO cooler. For his RAM there, he's rocking a 32GB kit from G, Skill Trident Z, which is the RGB series. And uh, this memory is DDR4, which is clocked at 3200 MHz. For the GPU there, he's rocking the MSI Ventures RTX 2078 GB GPU. For his memory there, he's rocking the Samsung 960 EVO, which is a 250 GB NVMe SSD, paired up with yet another Samsung E60 EVO series, which is a 500 GB SATA SSD. For his hard drives, he is rocking the WD-1 TB 7200RPM hard drive, paired up with a yet another external WD-4 terabyte external hard drive. All of this is all mounted on an MSI Gaming Plus B350 motherboard. Powering this whole unit, we have an EVGA 80 plus rating, which is bronze, 600 watt power supply. Heading over to his monitors there, he is using two monitors, one being the Acer Nitro VG240Y 24-inch 144Hz IPS monitor. Paired up with that, another Samsung 24-inch TV. For the monitor mounts, he is using yet another popular pair of uh, local monitor mounts, which is the NB North Bayou H180 monitor mounts. Moving over to his keyboard, there he is using a Logitech G915 TKL keyboard. For his mouse, there he is using a Razer Viper Mini mouse. And for the mousepad there, he's using an Artesian 0XL mid softness mousepad. Heading over to the sound there, he is using the HyperX Cloud Core headphones. And for his microphone, he is using the Elgato Wave 1 microphone. Heading over to his chair there, that's a generic office chair with the lumbar support. For his ISP there, he's choosing to go with the 20 Mbps package from Safaricom. This is the Safaricom Home Fiber. Now the price or the total price estimate written here is 170,000 to 190,000. So what do you use this setup for? So I use it for a bunch of things, including editing, um, gaming, watching stuff, yeah, browsing the internet, just all that stuff, yeah. Did you assemble everything, Amma? You bought everything at once? 
uh, I assembled the PC myself and then added parts over time and then you know just all the other components upgrading over time so only a few things remaining here like the original items where did you buy most of this stuff so it's a mix of amazon us uh shuffle pcs and yeah i think that's pretty much it <laughs> andy andy <laughs> always andy there he has to be somewhere <laughs> what are you planning to change uh so i want to switch out a lot of the parts in the pc they're a bit old especially the cpu and also maybe the case um because it's starting to get old it has an acrylic side panel which no one sees anymore so yeah maybe those two and your internet what uh, how would you rate your internet you're using safaricom fiber so the internet is like a 8.5 out of 10 because it's solid most of the time but then sometimes it just uh, it drops out for no reason so yeah they're becoming like zuko kidogo as I'm sure you've noticed, the video does look a little bit different today, and that's because I'm not the one shooting this. So yeah, go check out uh, NMK Studio for you know professional videos, professional photos, or if you want to book uh, their space. As you can see, they have quite a lovely space that you can shoot in. So contact uh, Katehi on Instagram or contact NMK Studios, and you should be able to get in your bookings and all the rates. Um, they have to offer so check them out so yeah guys uh, we've come to the end of the video if you enjoyed that video be sure to like subscribe and share this video with everyone and anyone be sure to also follow me on instagram i am bloody actor you should be able to see my logo the same logo you see on my channel and also be sure to join my discord community if you want to also hit me up also hit me up on the comment section and i should see you in the next one